Hey, what's up everyone who's watching this video? I hope this moment finds you doing well. So, the topic of this video is going to be regarding anomalies, spirit energy, and things of that nature. Particularly regarding a situation that just took place for me last night. So, one of my cats had been missing for a couple of days, and I became concerned. Midnight had seemingly disappeared, and I called for her and called for her, and I fed the other cats outside, took care of the animals, and I go back in, and I said, well, I hope and pray that she comes back, but if she doesn't, I'll just accept that fate. So I lay down, and I go to sleep, and several hours later, I'm having this dream. I don't know if you call it a dream, or a vision, or some sort of... I, I don't really know how to explain it, but two of our cats that are gone now. I don't know whether Simba ran off and is with someone else now, or if he actually is... I don't think he would have left me. That's just not him. He he was really attached to me. But regardless, he's gone now. And so is Bruce. Bruce got killed. Something got him. He didn't look like he got run over, but he was at the side of the road. So I, I don't know. But So I know for a fact that the energy of our loved ones and the energy of our pets, it, it somehow remains. It does remain. Their spirit energy is there. I have a scenario regarding one of our past dogs many years ago that I'll share as well. But this is what happened last night. I'm laying on the couch dreaming. I'm having a dream that Mama is in the chair in the kitchen. I'm dreaming she's sitting in there, but uh, she didn't say much. I don't think she really talked much in the dream or vision. It was almost like an alternate reality situation. Things looked slightly different, but they were they were similar, but the the I think things were slightly different. But she was sitting there and suddenly Simba and Bruce are both the the, the orange cat and the black and white cat, they were both in the room and I'm like I said I thought they were dead. I said, they were gone. And I was just so happy and I was excited. And, and uh, Mama shook her head like, well, I guess not. These things happen. And that like they're still here. That's the look Mama gave me. And I picked them up. I was so excited. I pet them and I was, they just come right through the door, came right through the back door and just were as happy as can be. That, but they were so, they were trying to tell me something. And Simba walked into the kitchen, and then he turned around, looked back at me, and he came back. And then he went out the door. Well, Bruce never did like to be picked up. He wasn't he he wasn't a fan of being picked up. I'd hold him for a couple of seconds, maybe a few seconds to pet him. Then he wanted back down. That's how he was. Uh, but he was only, I think someone dropped him, and he was only in our lives for just a couple of months, if that. But just building up to what the, the supernatural experience that took place. All of a sudden, Bruce, in my vision or dream, wanted down really badly. Like, like this is not what I wanted. I just he said, I, I like it's like I it's like he's saying that okay, enough is enough now. And he, he loved on me, and then he, but he wanted down. And uh, I was like, what is it? Okay, and it's, okay, I'll put you down in the in the vision or dream. And so I put him down. He jumps out of my arms, and I'm like, what's what's going on? And Bruce and Simba jumped through the door, through the back door. They jumped through the back door. And right then, I open my eyes on the couch. I open my eyes, and I wake up. I come to. And right as I do, objects near the door. I mean, not even really. The objects were not close enough to the back door that they should have even gotten to it. But they... This container flew to the back door 
as I'm waking up out of my body and as I'm just waking up from the dream or vision. And in the dream slash vision, Bruce and Simba jump through the back door. And as they jump through the back door, I actually wake up on the couch. This is in my body I'm in right now. I wake up on the on the couch and then all those objects as the, as I wake up and come to and the dream version of me or whatever alternate version of me that I'm experiencing smacks back to my body and I wake up you know I, I mean it's like that goes away and boom I'm back in my body on the couch and I, as I wake up and those cats are just jumping out the door in the dream or vision and my body comes my, the dream me comes back to my body and I come to and wake up I raise up off the couch thinking Huh. And then all of a sudden, those objects go flying to the back door where the cats in the vision or dream had just jumped out. And along with this um, other object, and it goes boom, up, it goes like bang up against the back door. So the objects fall and push up against, toward, against the back door and lean up against the back door. Right as, in my vision... Simba and Bruce jump out the door. They jump through the door. And I let Bruce down in the dream and he jumps out the door. Simba jumps out the door and he jumps too. And as that happened, like I said, my body, I come to in this body and I wake up and I raise up off the couch and there's a cuz because suddenly as I come to Two, three seconds after coming to awareness, a loud crash happens, and the door gets hit. And I thought, did one of the cats just hit the door? Then I thought, wait a minute, I just came out of this weird dream slash vision. So I get up, proceed to walk to the door, I'm walking over toward it, and I look and I notice that stuff has fallen and hit the door. And I'm thinking, well, that's odd. So I put it back, and I move it, I move these objects, and then went to sit back, sit back down on the couch, and then something hit me in my in my gut and my mind I'm like oh I bet midnight's there go look so I go to grab some cat food a little bit of canned food I'm gonna mix it together for the for all the cats so they can so they can share in different in different bowls and pans sure enough midnight is right there after several days missing and Bruce he was practically inseparable from midnight they became very close and the kittens we have now, uh, some of the kittens we have now are Bruce's, the black and white kittens. They're just like him. They're, they have his patterns. So they were very close. They always went off together. They were inseparable. They hung out together. They stayed together. And finally, he adjusted to me before he met his fate in this earthly body. But his spirit... Simba spirit, these animal spirits remain with me, and they come to you. The spirit connection, they have a huge spirit connection. But in the vision and dream, it's amazing, they jumped out the door, jumped through the door. And as I wake up, objects fall and hit the door from far away, right then, at the time, right around the time I'm coming back to, from having that dream slash vision of them jumping out the door, it's almost like they caused it. So it's very interesting that that would happen like that. And then I open the door, and the and Midnight, who hadn't been seen in a couple of days, is coming running to me. She's all shaking, and, and she looked pretty rough, I'll say that. And she was shaking and, and weak, very, very hungry and thirsty. So I poured her some milk and, some, and made sure they had water, and she had which they did, they had plenty of water, but I made sure she had food, I gave her food, I brought her in the house to eat uh, tonight by herself, and it's just amazing that that energy, that spirit connection happened with these cats. And the same thing, my uh, Egyptian Mao, Maui, Mao Mao, I'm telling you, Mao's very connected to, to that realm. She was aware when something was happening with the dogs, and she was trying to let me know. She would mess with the dog food, move the bag, like, go check, go look. Whenever something's going on outside, she's like, huh? Meow. 
girl. She tries to get you up. She tries to let you know. And she sees that realm. She sees that spirit realm. She's connected to it. She tries to protect you from things. She makes you aware of things. Even though I already am, she amplifies it, lets you know that she knows. I've shared, I've even recorded some videos of her being aware of such things. And she'll talk to you. She communicates to you. Of course, a lot of animals communicate with me, but, and vice versa, I do with them as well. But Mal will let me know if something's on the porch is not supposed to be, or something's going on, if something's around, someone or something is around that's not supposed to be there, or, or there's a cat fight going on, or, or something is, one of the cats are not doing well, she will tell you. Or they need taken care of, she will tell me. She'll tell us. So that's how she is. But that was amazing. It's almost like the vision slash dream was real. And their spirit energy caused that to happen. To let me know to go out there. Because Midnight was not doing well. And she was back. So anyway. Just sharing that experience. It's just one of many. Just one of many. I've had an encounter. After one of my. Uh, just like one of my. One of my dogs passed away. And this was, this was in the early 2000s. And I'm walking in the kitchen. And I step on something that's not there. And it felt like a tail. It was like a dog tail. And then I hear, <coughs> like that. It was him. It was, it was the, it was his, it was his sound. And then it scooted, scooted across the kitchen floor and hit the dishwasher. And I'll never forget that experience. And that was the day he had passed. And I felt, when he got run over, that dog, in the early 2000s, when he got run over, I can, I can show you some pictures. I'll pull them up sometime. There were strange tire mark looking things. like it looked, it looked like tire marks from some large truck that appeared on, the, on our door restroom door I've got pictures I'm gonna show and I saw the light behind me coming upon me that whoa and I was running away from it when I was little and then I ran into the restroom and, and shut the door quickly behind me and and locked it but right after that there were these strange tire marks that looked like from a toy vehicle that were going right up the door behind me and it's just, it's really, it's insane that, that I was feeling and experiencing what that dog was experiencing when he was about to get run over by this truck. And then he got run over. And then the night, the next night, I step on a dog tail of a dog that's not there. A dog that's not physically there. And it was him, it was his energy. When, uh, when Red passed away, when Red, when Red left this world, I've, I uh, I smelled and felt him the entire day, but that was a completely different scenario. My other one of our beloved cats, you could hear him eating cat food and walking around forever. Before uh, I mean, after he passed away, and there's some very interesting situations regarding that spiritually connected cat as well, coon cat. But these animals are deeply connected to the spirit realm, the other realms. Cats are especially. Dogs are well aware. But their energy remains on. And that is an interesting encounter that I've had. I wanted to make it shorter. But I didn't make it as short as I would like. But that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to elaborate and expand on some of the ones I just shared in this video for some in the future actually this is more like a not even really a video this is an audio with a picture background sort of like a podcast almost paranormal podcast but this is a personal experience thank you for listening or watching much love check out the link below to show support if you can and uh hey Share with others. It'd be a great birthday gift to grow subscribers, grow viewers. 
August 3rd is my birthday. I want to say thank you all for watching for those that do watch. Stay aware. Because existence is much stranger than people believe. Much love, signing out, peace, and that's all.